getting pretty snowy out here, not gonna lie. All right, y'all, we probably have like, I don't know, like three quarters of an inch or about an inch of snow over here, definitely. Just look at how big these snowflakes are, though. Yeah, you can probably tell, but look at how big those things are. Look at how big those things are, like, like here, let me show you, so. You might even be able to hear it too, like it's that loud. Like these, like it's 33 degrees right now, so it's, so it's not generally sticking to like the roads or anything, but it's definitely sticking to like the grass. They called a half day today, and I can kind of understand where they're getting this from. Very clearly see where they're getting all this from. Yeah, we're gonna see another two to four inches here, so. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. We're up on the higher elevations part of the storm. So for sure, we'll definitely be getting a little bit more snow than other places. For sure. I don't know if you can really tell. That snow's coming down if they're not. Funny how things can change in just 25 minutes. Y'all, I was out here earlier today. It was like, I don't know, like 35 degrees. And it was raining here, you know? And now it's snowing here. We almost have an inch. And I think we got it in like, I don't know, like... 45-ish minutes. It's like three quarters of an inch, like 0.7 or 0.8 inches. Yeah, this looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. Like, this definitely makes a perfect backdrop for, you know, like my videos. However, tomorrow it'll be 50, so you know, it's a recurring thing with these storms. One day it's there, well, the next day it isn't. That was for last year's snow, and the, for this year's snow, it's like, you get the snow, it's below freezing for four days, and then it all melts in one day because of a rainstorm. It's literally what this snow has been like recently. Yeah, for sure we have close to an inch of snow around here. Yeah, over there you can probably clearly see that it's covering the grass entirely. And this right here is more is even more proof of that. Originally today I had a different video planned. Now it's just planning to use the snow as like a backdrop for the video, but now I'm making this. I might actually make two videos today. I did two yesterday. Why can't I do two today? I mean, I'm not gonna do double uploads forever. I can only do this for a few days because I don't have any homework today. You know, you can't really dole out that much homework on a half day. And you know, I don't get any homework on half days, which is an amazing thing. So that means if there's a half day, look at all this. Oh, all this. This is actually beautiful. Yeah, this is nice. This is really nice, totally. Very clearly, the chickens only come out here because I'm here. They don't really like the snow all that much, but the ducks really do love it. As you can see, the ducks are having the most fun they've had in weeks. And the chickens are like, nah, I want to be in my coop. Yeah, you can see our chickens are here. One of them's even in the box over here. I believe that's like Lovey or something. Those are our chickens. That's a duck. Those are another few ducks. There's Abro. Don't ask me where that name came from. I didn't name that chicken. And well, look at this. This is pretty much close to an inch of snow. I can't find my tape measure, so I'll get my ruler out at the end of the storm, which will be sometime tonight. Bro, what did I do to you? Like, what did I do? This is clearly wet and heavy snow. Cause look at this. Does fluffy snow stick to things like this? And look at how big these snowflakes are. And look at this. Like. This is not like you'd usually see in a normal snowstorm, for sure. Originally I was like, yeah, this is going to be a bust. We're not actually going to get a lot. Well, look at this. We have almost an inch. I mean, this is nice, especially considering standards here from March. I mean, the standards for March here is just like one or two big snowstorms in 40s and 50s all month in my area. But it looks like we actually got some pretty high standards for this month. It's pretty nice wet and heavy snow. We're going to see another two inches, y'all. Alright, so it's been about uh, 45 minutes or so since I last filmed. The snow definitely slowed down a bit here. I mean, the snowflakes are a lot smaller than they used to be. But for sure, we did actually get some snow since then. And right here, we have like, oh, you see the chickies? So we have like, let's see, probably like, I think that's like a, like a good like inch, maybe inch and a half. And this can pretty much prove my point. So this right here is slush, ew. Ah, that's like the weirdest substance I've ever touched. And then right here, this is all snow. That's that's closer to like two inches. And right here, that's definitely like almost two inches. So I think we have on like a good like inch, inch and a... I think we have like an inch and a quarter here. 
think we have about an inch and a quarter here, for sure. I know it's at least an inch because, well, does this look like a dusting to you? A dusting is less than a quarter of an inch of snow. A quarter of an inch of snow would literally be like, I don't know, like this like amount of slush right there. But it's at least quadruple that, so it's well over a dusting. Well, oh, gray claws losing feathers. Hey, they're quacking. Well, totally. This is a certified hood classic. Yep, it is. It definitely is a certified hood classic. This type of storm is definitely one of the ones that I don't like. We're going to see like another like inch or two here, so... Yeah, we might actually end up with a good decent amount of snow, so like two to three inches. Most people are saying like one to three inches, so... I went with the flow and I'm, I was saying two to four, so... I think we're actually going to get some pretty decent amounts here. Look at that poor barred rock right over here, just trying to... Do what she needs to do during the day. Yeah, I can very clearly see where you're getting this, like, I don't know, like... Two inches here, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely like around an inch, like... I remember this hammock used to be like covered in ice after a storm. Look at it right now, look beautiful, right? Like, man, this is amazing. I don't know if you should qualify this as like a snow squall, because this is associated with a system, but I don't know what system this is actually associated with. Because I know there are several systems going through, like we got that derecho the other night, and I was from the, I believe it was from that storm out in Iowa that produced like an, that produced an EF4. Yeah, I, 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 I heard about that one. Why did I almost say I loved that one? I mean, the storm was pretty good here. I mean, there was some pretty decent wind. But I believe that was a tornado down, like, there or somewhere. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll make a video totally. Two videos today, y'all. Two videos. Yeah, two videos, y'all. I'll do two videos. Yeah, because, well, for sure, I'll do a walk in the woods video. You know, that might actually be a new series. Walk in the woods, you know. Or take a walk during different things. Maybe even during a windstorm. I don't know. What I'll need, like, whatever that thing's called. I I know what it's called, but I always forget its name, so. And I know what it does. It, like, masks out the wind. So that way, like, you know, like, you don't hear that much wind. So, yeah, does this to you look pretty nice? Oh, my. Does this to you look pretty nice? Hope it does. Yeah. Look at this. This is nice. Yep. We have like an inch or so. Doesn't matter if this is only a dusting or not. All that matters is that it's snowing. Y'all, we got the snow up here in New England. Yep. What is so nostalgic about this scene right here? Like, just look. We got, I don't know, like two-ish inches of snow and it's still gonna snow a little bit. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna see, I don't know, like maybe like another coating to one over here. We definitely did see as much as they were calling for, and well, good thing they did call half day, because the roads were pretty bad, and I believe there was like a car accident somewhere near us, so glad they called the half day. I'll go show you on a tour in a minute. All right, so this right here used to be a driveway. Now I have like a stake right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke it in the ground, and I'm gonna estimate how much snow we have. So first I'm gonna poke it in the ground right here. It's like, I don't know, like three quarters of an inch just because it wasn't originally sticking to here. But if you go over here, you can very clearly see there's definitely a dramatic rise, and it's probably like two or three inches right there. Yeah, but like, look at this. This is definitely the biggest wet and heavy snowstorm we've had all year at this point. Well, look at that. That looks nice. Oh, my basketball. R.I.P. Like, an inch or two on it. I don't know why like, someone left the... Oh my god, my siblings left the lights on in the barn. Yeah. Definitely a few inches around here. Yeah. For sure, we did get a... We did get a good, like, solid one or two inches over here. Yeah, I'll show you what the chicken yard looks like. Because the snow just makes an amazing, like, backdrop for this video. Like, it just makes things look 10 times more wintry and this is our last stretch of winter so this is the final stretch the final battle 
This storm will negotiate whether this is our quote unquote robin snow or if this is literally just the beginning because well some they say this is an inch of snow but this looks like three inches or something like that. This looks like three inches, not an inch. But look at the grill. Like, does this look kind of nostalgic? Or is it just me? Yeah. Like, look at the grill. For sure, there's like two or three inches on there. Maybe four, I don't know. But, uh, but that seriously reminds me of the ghost grill back in 2020. Which was on, like, I don't know, like, I think it was the day before Halloween. Yeah, the day before Halloween. And well, we got this, I don't know, the backdrop of like a hurricane with some really cold air. We got uh, five inches of snow-ish around here. We got like 4.8 or 4.9, maybe five-ish inches of snow from that storm. So yeah, certainly around five inches of snow from that storm. Yeah, it's going to snow another one to three over here for sure. Yeah. And I just knocked off snow from this. That's okay, because it's weighing down the thing anyway. So, look at this. Doesn't this still look nice, y'all? I know the lighting over here is a lot worse than over there, but this is definitely more than an inch. This is like, I don't know, like two or three inches. Something like that. Something along the lines of two to four inches as well. We got anywhere from one to four inches of snow over here, I think. Which definitely does bring back some memories of some winter storms. Exactly on this day back in 2018, I believe. Yeah, 2018, we got a blizzard here. Well, I didn't live at this house in 2018. This was early 2018, not late 2018. We had this big blizzard, and well, I think we got like, I don't know, like, I think we got almost two feet of snow from that because it was pretty huge. It's a pretty huge deal. It's one thing to get this type of snow in March. It's another thing to get a blizzard because, well, last year we barely got any snow in March, and this year, oh, it's snowing. Yeah, probably like one to three inches over here. Like, does this look like an inch of snow to you? No, it doesn't. It probably doesn't. Yeah. This is definitely a pretty, like, nice and decent storm. Now, I'm pretty, you know, like, taken away by, like, how much snow this is. Like, this is, like, two or three inches right here, guys. Totally, like, two or three inches right there, y'all. That was it for the storm, y'all. Like, it was going strong, and it just faded out, like into oblivion like it's like gone within like, I don't know like, like just a matter of an hour things can change rapidly we went from I don't know like a trace of snow a storm looked like it wasn't gonna do anything to more than we were actually expecting to get and sorry for the terrible stuttering yeah it's it's like 9 30 right now I have to like get this video out quickly you know I'm hoping that you really enjoyed this video y'all I'm just gonna give you a quick little tour of like you know what we got out of the storm because it's actually like you know pretty like amazing what we did get out of this storm you know you know like we went from like no snow on the ground like it all melted you know we got like 14 inches back in January then we got like another snowstorm I can't remember how much it was and we got I believe it was like 10 or 11 inches at the end of January then we got two four inch storms in February and then we got like a and then we got this storm. Yeah, this is wet and heavy snow. I believe it's like, I don't know, like maybe like three or four inches of snow. I think we got, I think we got around like, uh, this tells the whole story. So I believe this is like, I don't know, like 3.7 or 3.8 inches or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I have a premiere tonight. If y'all want to watch it, it's at 10.15, y'all. So if you feel like you want to watch it, you know, you feel like you want to hear some pretty soothing things before you're like heading to bed, you know, I go to bed at 11.30, y'all. Don't do what I do. <laughs> you know, staying up late studying for exams I have coming up is hard, it's hard. I have one coming up next week, y'all, it's pretty bad. So this right here, I don't know, this is probably like three, four inches. This right here is like around an inch on this thing, cause well, you know, don't expect every single inch of the snow to accumulate on this sort of stuff. But you know, just a quick tip, don't leave your sleds out like this. You know, I'm doing these twice a day uploads. I already do daily uploads, you know. I am thinking about taking a break, I don't know. It'll only be for like a single day though and I'll be right back to, you know, the daily upload schedule, you know. 
this is a pretty decent storm. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you ended up finding this video pretty nice, and I don't know, I just had ended. So if you really loved this video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, y'all. It does go a huge way. And it really just, like, you know, motivates me to do this. Because schoolwork already gave me, like, I don't know, like, I don't feel, like, that motivated anymore. That's why my tone in my videos recently have been, a, have been quite a bit down. It's the schoolwork, you know? You know, the tight schedule I have to operate on nowadays? Like, we went from last year, like, no homework. And this year, I'm literally just going to pile you up with, I don't know, like, I'm literally just going to pile you all up with, like, Whole bunch of homework, you know. Here in New England, you definitely do get the snow, and well, when this happens, it's definitely just an opportunity to break free. So if you enjoy snow and you really like this, yeah, I'd highly recommend you break free into the sort of stuff, because well, apparently, you know, like it really like calms you down when you're like in like deep brush. I don't know, I just said brush, brush. It really calms you down in there for some reason. It's because like it's canceling out all that sound around you and well it's like and now you can just hear like the branches and it just calms you down. No I believe like it was like sometime a few years ago like I got really mad I can't remember I think I was like I don't know like I think I was like 10 at the time this was several years ago I was like 10 or 11 at the time and well I was like and well I got mad I can't remember what it was because do you really expect me to remember that sort of stuff? So, you know, I was out there, I was mad. And, you know, it just snowed. I believe it was like six or seven inches of this type of snow. It was like 30 degrees. So I went outside, took a little hike, and, you know, calm down. So I would highly recommend that if you really want to, like, you know, calm down in a way. Like, yeah. For sure, if you want to go outside and calm down during this sort of stuff, it's really easy. Like and subscribe and leave a comment if you feel like it, y'all. It's totally optional. But I highly recommend it, y'all. Because if you do write a comment, I will literally respond to it as soon as possible. If you write in the morning, I'll probably not respond to it for six hours. It's not my fault. I do check the comments at the end of the day, though. But at the end of the day, we're all just people, you know? We all make, we all make human error. So goodbye, everybody, and have a nice rest of your day, y'all. Hope to see you later, y'all. Bye.